Hi, this is Travis. I'm going to show you how to change our basic uh, Space Invaders game to make it, it a little more deadly, uh, make it so that these invaders can take more than one hit. Let's change the scripts for our invader right here. First of all, since we're going to make him more dangerous, I want to raise this number so that there's less of them. The bigger the number, the longer it takes them to regenerate. Okay, then I'm just, just going to move this out of my way. And um, now the important thing that I'm looking at is right here, this, this test right here, this conditional, conditional statement. If touching the laser then, so basically that's where the laser kills him. I need a variable to uh, control his hit points. So this is very important. I, I should not click for all sprites, I should click for this sprite only. And actually, the effect of this will be that this variable will be uh, duplicated for every clone. So every clone, as you can see, this is a clone script, will have its own copy of this variable. This is very important. It would not work if we did not click that box. Um, okay, and then I need this to test, and then I need this to see if it hits, if it's got enough hits. Okay, so this will check and see if there, oop, if there are three hits. If there's three hits, then he will die. Uh, we need this up here so that uh, every time the clone is created anew, his hits are set to zero, and um, then down here, once he gets hit by the laser, like the first thing that needs to happen is he needs to take one hit. Then this other stuff can pretty much be put in here. So before, this would have caused the monster to flash, and then, uh, you know, if he got hit, and then he would have uh, given you one point, and then he would have disappeared. Now, it's only going to happen when he has been hit three times. Okay, back there, and let's try it out. It's actually not going to work the way that you, or that I, want. See, he's only taking one hit. Now the reason, well actually sometimes, see, he takes two hits. Anyway, there's a reason for that, which has to do with the, um, the bullet sort of stays on the screen longer than it should, and um, I mean, it, it, it always happens. The only fix for it is to get from the control bin a wait 0.1 second and put it right after the change of hits. Um, and let's try it now. Here he comes. Three bullets. He's gone. Oh, that one. A little tougher. Boom. Okay, that's a little more challenging now. Let's say, for instance, that you wanted to make this a kind of different game, and you want to change your invader into a flying saucer. Let's come down here. Oops. Let me make some space for myself. First of all, we're going to use costume invader 4, because that's tougher. Now, invader 4 is also not going to try and run into the starfighter, so we don't need that. Um, but he's not going to disappear uh, when at the bottom of the screen, because uh, he's going to be going uh, right to left instead of up and down. So if I want to change this guy so that he goes right to left, basically I just get this X position, change this to, because the, the, the screen is wider than it is tall, so I need to change this to negative 230, and um, I'll throw that out because it's not like he's going to Earth, he's just zipping around the moon. And uh, he's not going to head towards the, star towards the starfighter anymore, so I can throw that away. And then, uh, oh yeah, and, and instead of moving up and down, 
which is what the Y coordinates are for, he's going to move from left to right. Let's change this to negative four. Nice and slow, you should be able to hit him. Um, is that all I need to do? Oh yes, so he needs to start on the left side of the screen. So instead of starting at a random X, he's going to start at a random Y. And then he's going to start at X equals 230. That's on the right side of the screen. Oh yes, and this, this is probably too much. Um, because the screen is only 180 pixels tall, well, sorry, 360, it's 180 up and negative 180 down together. Um, okay, that should do it. So now we should have a slightly different game. Here comes the flying saucer. Oh my gosh. It became quite challenging. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Finally got that guy three times. Uh, got him. Got him. Oh, didn't get him. Anyway, that is definitely a more challenging game. So I hope you learned something, and uh, thanks for watching.